How do you make a deep engraving on rocks? Hi, my name is David and I'm gonna show you how to turn this stone into this using a fiber laser marker. You're on the Virmer channel, don't forget to check if you're subscribed and let's get started. Which stones are suitable for engraving? Well, granite, granite polymer, lava stone, marble, slate, basalt, brick and stone tiles, salt crystals, natural stones and large pebbles, ceramics and porcelain. The best one for deep engraving are dark, polished and natural stones. That is granite, marble and basalt. The more homogeneous and fine-grained the material, the better will be the result. What kind of market do we need? We use a fiber laser market, the Watson FLTT. For a fast work, it's better to use a 50 watts power source. Also, remember about the lenses. For this purpose, they should be 100 by 100 or 75 by 75. Engraving now, let's get to work. First, the design. The marker will engrave all black elements of the image. So, you'll need to use the fill function with the same name. Set the fill density to 0.03. In this menu, also set auto rotation of the edge angle. 15 degrees. By the way, the designs I'm using today can be found in the description. Second, settings. You'll have to experiment with them depending on which stone you're working with, the engraving depth you want and the desired speed. You also need to specify the number of passes. The more passes, the deeper the engraving. For example, with 100 passes you can achieve a depth of 5 mm, but it also depends on the stone itself. Naturally, the more passes, the more time you'll spend on a single workpiece. Third, focus. You know that to get a good result, you need to adjust the marker's focus before starting. In case of deep engraving, layers will gradually be removed, requiring adjustments over time. That means you will need to approach the marker and lower the focus. This guarantees a smooth and precise engraving. If you decide not to do this, you might get defocused. But this can also be a design choice. You can achieve a depth effect this way. How do you set the focus if the stone isn't it flat? Well, place it in a bowl with sand or another filler. Use this to level the stone relative to the work table. This way, you'll secure it so that it lays flat. If the stone is too uneven and adjusting the focus becomes problematic, it's better to choose another one. By the way, Watson has also a marker called FL3D. It adjusts the focus automatically. This is a very convenient for creating deep engravings. Let's start engraving. We are doing everything with the Watson FLTT marker. In fact, this machine can also handle many other materials like aluminum, brass, stainless steel, tungsten, plastics, leather, rubber, fabrics and so on. And using a small lens like 100x100 100 100 or 75x75 75 75 makes the laser impact stronger. For more on the differences between lenses and how simply changing one for another can alter the marker's functionality, we discuss it in this video. And here are our sweet results. Let's summarize. For deep engraving, you need a fiber marker laser with a power of 50 watts if you want to achieve fast work. You should use a lens with a small working field like 100 by 100 or 75 by 75. Then you will get such an excellent result. You didn't find the stone you were looking for in this video? Let us know in the comments and we'll show you how to treat any other type of rocks. My name is David, this is Virmer. Subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. See you next time.